Hey there, explorers. Welcome back to our channel, where we delve deep into the teachings and principles of Christianity and embark on a transformative journey through the realms of faith and spirituality. Today, we're delving into a cornerstone of Christianity that holds immense significance, salvation. Brace yourselves for a captivating exploration as we unravel the depths of this fundamental aspect. Whether you're new to the concept or looking to deepen your understanding, this episode is designed to shed light on the profound and transformative nature of salvation in a way that's easy to grasp. So buckle up and join us on this enlightening ride into the heart of Christian beliefs. Salvation holds a central and crucial role in Christianity, representing its core purpose and significance. The journey towards salvation traces back to the time when Adam and Eve, following their disobedience, faced expulsion from the blissful Garden of Eden. Since then, humanity has carried the burden of sin, imperfection, and divine judgment. However, God, in His immense love, devised a plan to secure our eternal destiny, and this plan finds its fulfillment in Jesus Christ, God's only begotten Son. The unfolding of God's salvation plan can be traced to the covenant established with Abraham, through whom all nations would eventually be blessed. This set the stage for the arrival of the Savior, a promise eagerly anticipated throughout the Old Testament. Prophets played a vital role in conveying God's will and foretelling the advent of the Messiah, instilling hope and anticipation for the redemption of humanity. To delve deeper into the enlightening journey of salvation, it is essential to explore the teachings of the Bible regarding how one can be saved by God, understanding God's intricate plan for salvation, and recognizing the fundamental elements of salvation through grace and faith. A poignant passage in Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 to 9 emphasizes that salvation is a gift bestowed by God through grace and received by faith. It explicitly states that salvation is not a result of personal efforts, ensuring that no one can boast about earning it. This gift, offered to all who believe in Him, is not something that can be earned but must be embraced through faith. The grace and name of Jesus Christ stand as the sole means through which anyone can partake in this remarkable gift of salvation. The Gospel of Jesus Christ At the heart of Christianity lies the Gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus, known as the Messiah, is the Savior of all humanity. His death and resurrection bring hope into our lives. Through His sacrifice, God released us from the chains of sin, marking the very purpose of His coming to earth as directed by our Heavenly Father. The Gospel represents the profound love of God for us, showcasing a path to redemption and eternal life. Why do we need to be saved? The importance of salvation arises from the fact that everyone is a sinner. As stated in Romans chapter 3, verse 23, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We, as humans, face a continuous struggle against the effects of sin. As Christians, our goal is to seek God's grace and re-embrace His love. While achieving a completely sinless life like Jesus may be unattainable, we hold on to the promise that God, in His faithfulness, forgives and purifies us. Facing the judgment seat of God is an inevitable reality for all of us. According to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ. God, being a just judge, will hold us responsible for our words, thoughts, and actions. The accountability stems from the acknowledgement that we all fall short and have sinned. Yet, it is essential to recognize that God's judgment is met with the opportunity for redemption and forgiveness, underscoring His mercy and love for His creation. When we talk about salvation, it means being rescued from the wrath of God. This wrath, as mentioned in John chapter 3, verse 36, is like a punishment from God. The verse says, Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever rejects the Son will not see life for God's wrath remains on them. It's like saying that if we don't believe in Jesus, we might face God's anger because of the wrong things we do. God's anger is fair because it is a consequence of our sins, the things we do that are against what God wants. Moreover, salvation also saves us from eternal punishment in hell. If someone dies without being saved, Matthew chapter 25 verse 41 says they might hear something like, Depart from me, 
you who are cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. Hell is described as a place of constant suffering where the fires never stop and the pain goes on forever. It's a scary thought, but salvation offers a way out from facing this never-ending torment. It's like a rescue from a really bad place because of the love and mercy of God. What should we do to be saved? You need to believe in the name of Jesus Christ. Acts chapter 16 verse 31 tells us, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. This means putting your trust in the powerful name of Jesus Christ. When we truly believe in Him and admit our mistakes, God promises to forgive us and grant us everlasting life. It's like saying that by having faith in Jesus, we receive the incredible gift of forgiveness and a promise of a life that lasts forever. Confession is a significant action that helps us get closer to salvation. As mentioned in 1 John chapter 1 verse 9, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Confession is like admitting when we've done something wrong. When we confess our sins, it means we recognize our mistakes, ask for forgiveness, and start a journey towards being better and more connected with God. It's a powerful step that cleanses us from the things we've done wrong and sets us on a path of spiritual growth. Repentance is the first step in fixing our relationship with God. It involves genuinely changing our hearts, admitting our mistakes, and working to make things right. Acts chapter 3 verse 19 encourages us to repent and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out. Repentance is like saying sorry to God and deciding to live in a way that follows His teachings. When we repent, we seek forgiveness from God and it guides us towards the road of salvation. It's a way of turning away from the wrong things we've done and moving towards a life that aligns with God's love and goodness. The initiation of our faith journey is marked by baptism and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Baptism is like a special ceremony that symbolizes the cleansing of our sins. It's a way of showing that we want to follow Jesus. And through this act, the Holy Spirit comes into our lives, bringing about a big change in us. Baptism and the Holy Spirit are really important because they help us experience God's love and kindness in a powerful way. It's like a starting point for our journey with God, where we receive His grace and mercy, making us feel closer to Him. To have a strong relationship with God, it's crucial to build up your faith. In Luke chapter 17, verse 5, the apostles asked Jesus, increase our faith. This means they wanted to believe in God more and have a stronger connection with Him. Building up faith involves doing things like praying, reading what God says in the Bible, and going to church services. When we do these things regularly, it's like we're planting seeds of faith in our hearts. These actions help us grow in our trust in Jesus and make our faith stronger. It's like working out to make our belief in God even more powerful and meaningful. Being saved means going through a process called justification. This process happens when a person is declared righteous and saved from the bad consequences of their mistakes because they believe in Jesus Christ. It's like getting a clean slate from God. This leads to salvation, where a person not only gets everlasting life, but is also set free from the things they did wrong. Another important part of being saved is sanctification, which is a lifelong journey of becoming more like Christ. It's like growing to be a better person with God's help, and we transform into a new creation in Him. So, being saved is not just a one-time thing. It's a journey of change and becoming more like Jesus. Through salvation, we gain something really special, eternal life. It's like living forever in God's kingdom. John chapter 3 verse 16 tells us, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have eternal life. This means that because of God's love, if we believe in Jesus, we won't face an end. Instead, we get to live forever with God. Eternal life is the ultimate goal, where we have a never-ending relationship and friendship with God. It's like having a life that goes on and on in a wonderful way because of the love and care of God. So, through salvation, 
we receive this incredible gift of eternal life and a lasting connection with God. In conclusion, the journey to salvation involves embracing the core tenets of Christianity, such as the gospel of Jesus Christ, baptism, and sanctification. It requires acknowledging faults, seeking forgiveness through confession, and repenting sincerely. Justification attained through faith in Jesus leads to salvation, promising eternal life and freedom from sin. John chapter 3 verse 16 encapsulates the essence, assuring that belief in God's Son secures everlasting life. This journey, rooted in God's love, grace, and mercy, is a continuous, transformative process, fostering a profound relationship with the divine. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this and sharing it with fellow Christians seeking a mindful connection with God. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful and feel free to leave a comment below to share your thoughts with us. We hope this video has shed light on the significance of salvation in the Christian faith and the steps you can take to embrace it. Stay blessed and see you next time.